Hey, it's Doug from the Rise Above Gym channel, and I have a simple, fun, and effective workout for you. I call it the Combo, Single, and Core Workout. Let's check it out. All right, this workout consists of three blocks. You can do it for time, or you can do it for repetition. I'll do it for repetition with you just to show you how it's done, and then you can make it your own after. It's gonna be a combination exercise, which is an exercise, two exercises together that flow nicely. A single-sided exercise, so obviously on each side, and then a core exercise. I have three different blocks, and like I said, I will go through those blocks with you now. I will do it for repetition. Timer is great. I like you know 30, 15, or 45, 15. You could put it on your smartphone or watch, or a bigger timer in the back. But for sake of the video, I'm gonna do repetitions. Now, the first one is going to be, like I said, um, a combo, then a single and then a core. I have my kettlebell here. You can easily do it with one kettlebell, two different kettlebells. You can do dumbbells if you'd like as well. The first block, I'm gonna do five reps of each one. I'm gonna do the uh, squat to halo. That'll be my combo. Then I'm gonna do my overhead press on each side, so military press, and then I'm gonna do a pull across, a core, okay? So let's do five squats to halos. I should probably do six so I'm even, but squat, Halo, one, two, three, four, five, and six, so I'm even. Now I'll go right into the press. If you needed a weight like your intervals, that's fine, or even if you're doing repetitions, I'll do five, two, three, four, Five, and I'll switch sides. One, two, three, four, and five. And then I'll bring it down to my core. So my core, I'm gonna do the pull across. I'm gonna have my kettlebell on the outside of, have a, uh, of my body, I have a wide base. I'm gonna grab underhand, lift it up. I'm not a big dragger on this exercise because I wanna keep my hips still and back. Two. Three, I'm trying to be as still as I can with my body. Four, five, and six. So that's block one. Block two is gonna be a deadlift to a lunge and pass. A one-arm deadlift, lunge and pass. Then I'm gonna do a floor chest press, and then I'm gonna do a just a basic sit-up, okay? So my combo, and I'll do six. I'm gonna do a one-arm deadlift, I'm gonna step back on the side I'm holding on. One, deadlift, lunge and pass. Two, three, four, five, one more. There's the train, six. Okay, now I'm gonna be on my back. I'll do five floor presses or chest presses. Four, five, bring it down, around, other side. Four, five. You can use your bell for a little support on your sit-ups. You can hook them here. I'll do five, two, three, four, and five. That's block two. So my final block, the combo is gonna be a two, one, one swing. So two arm, one arm, one arm. We're gonna do a row on each side and then Russian twists. So again, two, one, one. So I'm gonna hike through. One, one, back to two. One, one, back to two. You can do a two arm swing, two, two arm swings if you really wanna get the Motion down, and then try to make your ones like your twos. Okay, I think that's enough. I'll do five rows on each side for my single. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll reset my body, switch. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'll be on the ground for my core. I guess I can use this bell, chest up, glutes tight. One, 
two, I'll do 10, three, five, six, six, eight, nine, 10. All right, so there you have it. That is my combo single core workout. Again, you can do it for as many rounds as you want, as many reps as you want. If you do three rounds of that for time, 45, 15, you'll have a pretty decent workout in there. No stones left unturned. So you got every muscle group, got a little bit of cardio, a little bit of strength. It should get you on the right track. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like it down below. Also consider subscribing as I put a new video out every week. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.